Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at one of my favorite undisclosed locations because not only do we have palm trees, but we have squawking birds and this 2020 Lexus NX300. But before we dive into this sparkling orange, let's talk about what the NX really represents. So this is their compact crossover SUV. It's really meant to go up against vehicles like the Audi Q3 and the BMW X3. One thing is for certain, with this NX300, you're gonna get turbocharged power, all wheel drive, plus you're getting that great reliability from Lexus, and also with it being an F Sport, some of that sporty flavor. So let's go ahead, we're gonna dive into this NX300 and find out should you jump on this design, because this is the last year of this particular design, came out in 2018, the NX has been around since 2015. Should you jump on a 2020? or should you wait for the redesign in 2021? So let's go ahead and dive into this NX300. Right off the bat, the styling. You know it's a Lexus, very, very unique styling. So you're gonna have that multi-LED uh, beam headlight design. On the NX300, it is the older design where they have the separate daytime running lamp on newer Lexus models that's all been integrated. I'm very curious to see where they're gonna take this design. Still looks fresh though. And at night, really, really nice and bright. Now, as you work your way down, you do have some functional side air curtains, a little bit of this metallic smoke gray. And then as we work down even further, you have LED uh, fog lamps down below. A little bit of flat black and then this nice bright silver that goes all the way across the bottom portion of the front fascia. Of course, if we're talking about Lexus, we're talking about their spindle grill, gunmetal metallic gray, has that waterfall effect, that large Lexus logo, forward-facing camera, and really like the dark chrome that goes around the whole perimeter, especially with this metallic orange. And I'm telling you, there's so much metal flake in it, more than a bowling ball, more than your favorite bass uh, fishing boat. Now, when we get up onto the hood, I like the way the body lines flow nicely with the grill, simple, and they kind of fade away. There's not actually a body line that really goes towards the eight pillar besides the actual sides of the hood. Gives it a nice overall clean sporty look. Obviously when we go F Sport up front, a lot of these touches like these air curtains and stuff look a little bit more aggressive. We come around the bend, what are we working with on this particular NX300? You're looking at these are the wheels you get on the F Sport. So this is an 18 inch wheel, machined alu aluminum. It's 225 in the width. 60 series on the sidewall, it's an 18 inch wheel, and really nice, simple split spoke design with the gloss black. You do have some flat black that comes around the fender well. Love the nice bold body line to really delineate that fender uh, design into the NX300. You'll notice up top how that very slim and trim headlight housing with the Lexus logo in there. And then of course on the F Sport, you're gonna get your F Sport badging. Touches include a sport tuned suspension and wait until we get into the interior. Very, very sporty interior. Coming down the side, gloss black on your mirror caps. Very, very low, slim and trim on the roof rails. Some gloss black and then around the whole perimeter, both top and bottom, you're getting this chrome trim. The flat black is just a little bit on the lower sill and I love this body line. It starts right on the driver's side door and comes all the way into the rear passenger door. Really shows a lot of different element of design and also really some definition there. As we work our way back, very, very sporty on the quarter window. You can see how that roof line kind of slopes perfectly back into our low roof spoiler. Nice and rounded, hard fender edge. And then when we get to the rear, the tail in the business, simple and clean. You have your color match shark fin antenna, smooth touch, extension on that low roof spoiler. A little bit of gloss black extensions for aerodynamic efficiency. We're gonna have our LED uh, tail lights. Very nice design, that Lexus design looks super clean. And then as we drop our, our way down, F Sport NX300, and then you do have functional exhaust on each side. That's a decorative trim ring with the exhaust behind it. I like this nice little bit of silver. They kind of took it from the lower portion of the front fascia, brought it into the rear bumper, all wheel drive, on this NX300, but why don't we pop the hood and see what's powering this particular compact crossover. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts underneath that hood. You can see it very clearly. Small but tasteful engine cover is that two liter inline four turbocharged engine. So what are we talking about power-wise? You are looking at 235 horsepower, 
258 pound-feet of torque. It's all gonna be mated to a six-speed automatic transmission, getting the power to the ground through an all-wheel drive system, zero to 60 in about 6.9 seconds, quarter mile in 15.3. The vehicle weighs around 3,811 pounds. MPGs, 22 in the city, 27 on the highway. I guess the good news is you still have your traditional automatic, even though it's a six-speed. A lot of other companies have moved on to eight, nine, 10 speed, be interesting to see for 2021. I'm gonna guesstimate that the 10 speed will eventually make it to this NX for next year. But while we go ahead, let's check out that interior and see not only what the NX brings to the table, but what happens when you add the F Sport badge to the interior. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, we're inside the NX 300 with the F Sport trim. I know you're at that point, you're like, Joe, I'm loving the color of this thing. I've always liked the design of Lexus and I love the reliability. How much is this particular one? This one, the way it's trimmed out, a lot of options. You're looking at MSRP of $52,499. Let's see what you get for the money. Now to the door panels, I love what's going on. You have this nice soft touch material. The stitch work is great. I'm even liking that silver trim there. Nice design, super clean. And I like the way they brought a little two-tone. They brought some white leather with the dark, looks great. Small in the door pocket though. You might be able to get a bottle of milk and maybe a stack of Chips Ahoy cookies in there. But other than that, looking fantastic. Now when you get to the dash, same thing. We have the stitch work. I'm liking this extra trim. It's not trying to look carbon fiber or anything. It looks really good. That's on the F Sport. The stitch work, we open up the glove box. All felt lined. So if you need somewhere to put your family's rare china, put it in here. It's not going to get scratched. Screen. On ours, we have the optional 10.3 inch uh, infotainment system screen. It's not a touch screen. It is iPad style. It's actually at a really good height. The sight line is perfect. It's not in the way. Let me go ahead and throw the car into reverse. So there we are, back up. You have your 360. We have trajectory, which is really nice. I'm gonna throw it back in the park there. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto makes things interesting. You do have your start stop button. Analog Lexus clock, looking classy. Dual climate control, and here's my favorite part. Ventilated seats and heated seats. And I like these nice silver controls to adjust your, like your temperature and all that. Really, really nicely done. Work your way down. We have over 800 watts of listening pleasure out of the Mark Levinson. Let me get the shifter out of the way for Victor. Mark Levinson, CD player, over 800 watts of music pleasure for your ears. I like all the nice silver touches here. Really, really nice. You're going to have your... Um, mode selector. So you got different modes, Sport Plus, Sport, Normal, and Eco, which is great. Really kind of tailor it to the type of driving you want to do. This is going to control that six-speed automatic transmission. Put it back in the park real easy. The one sore spot is going to be the Lexus trackpad. So the good news is all the AC controls can be due through actual touch buttons and switches. Anything else is going to have to take place with the trackpad. It does get a little cumbersome when you're driving, so much so that I don't like to use it because I'm afraid I'm going to get in an accident. I do like the silver trim, nice palm rest, two cup holders, and then here's your key fob. You got your leather condom on for your protection. You got the F badge there. We spin it around. There's your buttons. Lock, unlock, pop the back, panic and freak out mode. Love the silver trim around the cup holders. Here's one thing that's interesting. Watch this. There's a little tab here, and I wonder what this was. Bam. It's an actual mirror. So I guess if you really just want to sit there and say, I love you. I love you. And, you know, you got to love yourself first before you love anybody else if you're going to have a successful relationship. So here, you could do it with your own mirror. So I love you. I love all you guys, too. What's wonderful, though, is you have a nice little cubby here that is felt-lined. Great place to put maybe like that emergency Twinkie or two. That's about as much room you have. Probably about two Twinkies you could fit in there. That goes back. Nice soft leather. Love the stitch work. Open it up. Look at this. We have a felt lime party tray. Put some uh, planter's peanuts, maybe some pistachios, macadamia nuts, almonds, walnuts, whatever you got. Put them in there. Drop your family nuts in there. So you can put your family jewels in here. It's, it's felt lined, so you're not going to scratch them. Two USBs, an aux jack, and a 12 volt. If you don't want to put the family jewels in there, you could easily drop, like not even open up the box. You could put a box of Twinkies in there. That's how much room that we have. And it's all felt lined, so you're not going to scratch your Twinkie. And then the seats. F Sport, love the two-tone, soft leather. Look at nice bolstering, nice black with the white motif. You got the fully electric, multi-positionable passenger and driver's seat. 
I got plenty of headroom in here. Now, one of the things that is a little awkward is that the way that this kind of like projects outward, it makes you feel a little cramped. But I guess if you're looking for more of a sportier crossover SUV, I'm definitely getting that sportier vibe sitting in here because I don't have like a ton of room. I have plenty of room, just not a ton of room. And then of course you finish off with your standard size sunroof to let the vitamin D in on you. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind the wheel of this NX300. All right, guys, business end. You can see the white leather. You do have three memory seat settings on the driver's side, which is a nice welcome touch. And then if you look over here, you're actually going to get all the controls, heated steering wheel, that forward facing camera. You can lock the center dip, which is a nice touch. And then of course your blind spot monitoring, you could turn off or you could pop the rear hatch. Now down below, you get the nice uh, aluminum trim with the Lexus logo. Look at the dead pedal. I love that. Love the nice aluminum touches down there on the floor. That's all part of the F Sport package seats. You got your lower lumbar, which is great. You could get to the different positions real easily. And then steering wheel, your F Sport branded steering wheel. How do I know that? It actually says F Sport on it. I love the leather, the thickness. All of the stitch work is like a baseball and you don't need a flat bottom. It, it looks great. Nice style horn button. I like the dark silver here. You got your different controls to navigate through the different systems of your dash. Smaller paddles, but this will allow you to manually shift up and down your six speed automatic transmission. And then there is your dash, analog tech, analog speedometer. You have that 4.2 inch digital display in the center that you could toggle through a whole cornucopia. Look at that boost gauge, look at that. Fast and the Furious in this NX300, but it's nice that it has those different features. Really just allows you to kind of personalize it exactly the way that you want it. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna like being in this NX300. All right, guys, back seat time in the NX300. What's really cool is, is I do like the seating position in here. It's almost like stadium seating, where I feel like I'm definitely higher than the people up front. And that gives me a nice clear, clean sight out the windshield. I still got plenty of headroom in here, even being six feet tall. Backs of the seats, all leather. You get a nice pocket for some uh, Slim Jims, some Twizzlers. Two rear AC, my big zonk is, where's my connectivity? No USB, no 12 volt, no two cans and a piece of Lexus string. So that to me is a bummer, but boy oh boy, seating position is great. We pulled down the armrests, nice and soft. You got your cup holders, that's like whoop, raises up really nicely. Put that back. The Zonk though, no connectivity. Why don't we check out the cargo space and see how much room we have in this NX300. All right guys, time to see how much space we have in the cargo area of this NX300. Push the button, electric assist, pretty quick on the opening. What's nice is you get a great flat floor. I like the brushed aluminum trim, plenty of room. You got over 17 cubic feet of space with the seats up. Now, if you want exact numbers, 17.7 .7 cubic feet of space. We fold those seats down it becomes 54.6 cubic feet of space. I'm gonna go ahead and fold them down for you. They're actually really easy to do. You're just gonna pull the seat down and you can see just how much room that you have with this NX300. Really allows a lot of versatility and flexibility in how you're able to carry things around. Doesn't lay down totally flat, but it's pretty, pretty close. Good size on the opening. But why don't we go ahead, if you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's take this F Sport NX300 for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the NX300, that Lexus, that F Sport trim. Right away, it, it's interesting how sporty it does feel because of how everything is arranged in the interior of the NX300. I'm telling you right now, this may seem weird where the infotainment screen is, but it, it really is easy to see and it's not in your line of sight directly, which is great, it's not blocking anything. Having the Apple CarPlay, the Android Auto are nice welcome additions and super smooth. Like you would think the six speed being a dated style transmission would be herky jerky. It's actually really, really smooth shifting, which is wonderful. It's, it's gonna be interesting to see where they take the NX300 next for the redesign with tw for 2021. I have it in Sport Plus mode. Steering has a nice weight to it, which is great. I love the steering wheel. Steering wheel is one of my favorite things. Right now I have the boost gauge in the center. Let's do a little on throttle acceleration. So slow roll, on throttle. Here we go, drops down. 
As you can see, the smooths are really shift, uh, excuse me, the shifts are really smooth, not backwards. And the handling, they did some tweaking to the suspension to give it that extra sport feel and uh, handling prowess that you expect from something that has the F Sport badge. So that's good news as well. All right, guys, another on throttle acceleration. Remember, we're in Sport Plus, on throttle, all wheel drive, keeping us planted. I love the boost gauge in the center. Nice to see that telemetry there going to this right hand bend. Really, really holds a line nicely. The interior is quiet. Uh, would have been nice to have a panoramic sunroof, but you know, the great news is, is I love all the controls. And even though I'm not in love with the way it sticks out, it is easy to get to. Lexus and obviously the parent company Toyota is all about having ease of operation, knowing where everything is. And what's wonderful about this NX300, you're gonna get that. Plus you're getting an attractive looking package on the exterior and that great Lexus reliability that everybody loves. All right guys, I'm gonna manually shift with the paddles. I took the shifter, put it over to the left. Second gear on throttle. On the brakes, slowing us down. Smooth downshifts, nice turn in. All wheel drive is working great. Really impressed with how smooth the shift action is, especially on the downshifts when you're using the paddles to put it back in automatic. You just take the shifter, slide it over to the right. Visibility is great. The side mirrors are awesome. You're gonna get all the safety features, which are wonderful. The blind spot monitoring, the lane keep assist and everything. Looking out back, it's a little, it's a little crowded. You have some larger headrests, which are good for your passengers, but not good for looking out the rear glass. So rear glass vision is a little compromised, but boy, everywhere you touch, the materials are great and the seats are very sporty. I like the two-tone interior, really breaks it up in here and the bolstering is nice and not from a real aggressive standpoint either. All right guys, we're gonna take the NX300 out onto the highway. I wanna feel how the suspension travel is and just how smooth it is as it drives down the highway. The great news is to merge, just get on throttle and you're off and running. So not a big, big challenge. It would be nice to have around 300 horsepower out of this turbocharged inline four and that I'm sure will be a change for 2021 but for 2020 still a lot of great features and driving experience in this in this vehicle i mean even the way the analog clock is where all the buttons are easy to get to the only challenge is like i pointed out earlier is that trackpad it's easy to use when you're sitting still not so easy while you're driving but thankfully we got all switch gear for all the AC controls and radio controls. But super smooth, real easy to navigate through, and overall quite quiet in here. Seats are great, I love the seats. But hopefully this gave you a nice overview of what the NX300 F Sport is all about. We're gonna get back to our undisclosed location and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been another wonderful day with this Lexus NX300. I definitely gotta thank Corey and the rest of the crew over at Lexus for allowing Radies Rides access to this press fleet vehicle. It's interesting. So it's been a couple years since this vehicle's been around. Still bringing a lot of nice touches. Obviously there's some things that need to be rectified, but there is a redesign coming. But I don't know, if you've been waiting and wanting one of these, this might be the one for you, especially in this color. Really sparkles, so very nice. If you want to keep seeing though, these small compact crossover SUVs on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to get it out to Crown Vic. He's literally wearing his crown out here in this large area and people are looking at us. Now, I don't know if they're looking at us because of me but maybe it's you, Crown Vic. I know everybody loves your camera work, so thank you for your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.